Hey folks, welcome to the channel. My name is Colin, call sign MM0OPX and in this video I want to talk about using your antenna analyzer as a signal generator. Um, now the example I'm going to be showing you here today is with my phase verticals. Um, I was going to do two videos but with this this kind of footage but I'm just going to make the one because um, I'm not quite getting the results that I wanted to see. Um, but basically what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be using the uh, Rig Expert AA200 as a signal generator um, checking front to back. Um, so let's go and have a look at the setup. So this is the antenna configuration here. So what we'll have here is two adjusty wave standards set for 20 meters, both um, absolutely identical. So we're, and we're both running with uh, a single elevated radio which performs absolutely fantastic. If you if you can afford just using a couple of a one, even one elevated radio, it will perform as good as um, you know several ground mounted uh, radios. So both antennas identical. So they're set, as I said, they're set on 20 meters. And I have them ho hooked up. Um, your phasing lines hooked up to I was, I was testing some different coax here, so we've got coax hooked up to hooked up to these. And we're coming back to a Chrisman phasing system. So there's a little relay inside this. So we've got two 157 degree uh, phasing lines, or feed, feed lines I would call them, and a, um, and a 39 degree uh, delay line there. Um, so that's the setup. Um, I've actually got it hooked up to my 705 inside the conservatory. Um, but I think what we'll do is I'll actually go and show you what we're going to use for the signal generator. This is the uh, signal generator setup. So what we have here is just a camera tripod. And we have a little 3 8 mount, so I've just got that budged on there. So this is a 20 meter hamstick. And you can see for radials, I've got four radials there. These are about four meters long each, something like that, maybe six meters. Um, but that's not really important. Naturally, the SW, you could actually use this as an antenna on its own, in its own right. Um, quite easily because the it, it's the SWRs it's, it's pretty good and um, but that's not 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 too important so that's the antenna for the signal generator and then we're using the rig expert AA200 now all rig experts I believe have this function and I've just discovered it recently so I know some people will probably say um, no you shouldn't be using this and you need to be transmitting your ID and um, well if you have a an antenna analyzer you're doing this anyway yourself and um, so with the signal generator function it basically when, when you check an antenna a signal a 10 milliwatt uh, signal gets sent out so it's not a lot of power so and how, how you actually do that is, is if you actually go into uh, function 8 this is the show all so it's like live you know live measurements and you can see this little icon in the top corner this is when it's actually transmitting a signal so it's good to good. Primarily, I use this for measuring the complex components. But what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to change the frequency. Oops. Just middle of the band. Enter that. So we go back to here. And if I press, oh, there's OK. Can't see for the camera. Okay, so you can see that's actually measuring. So this is actually the SWR, so about three to one. That's just because of the length of the antenna, but that's really not important. But what's important is it's actually transmitting a signal. So what we'll do now is we'll actually go back to the radio and we'll show you the signal. So hopefully you can see the screen. It's not great. I appreciate that. It's just because it's quite bright in here. Um, but you can see this little line here. This is actually the signal that's been transmitted from the the antenna analyzer signal generator. So if we just move on to that, there we go. So then we get a tone. Um, and I've actually got the, the RF gain, it's, it, the, it's turned away down. So what we'll do is I'll just set that on S5. And if I look at my little switch box here for my phase verticals, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna change this. So if you watch this, S5, So it's only about an S point and a bit. So that's actually that. This is that. This is actually something different. Um, I'm actually having a bit of issues with the phase verticals, so I'm not seeing the front to back um, that I would expect to see. 
um, but that's not the purpose of this video as I said. So you, you could set the signal generator anywhere you want. Um, you're not going to break the antenna analyzer, it's for designed for checking antennas. Um, you know, so you can use it on any frequency um, you want. Um, preferably within the uh, amateur radio bands. That's us folks, short and sweet. Um, hopefully that's been of some use to you. Um, just, just a handy little function if you do have a, uh, a rig expert, certainly you'll be able to do it with that. Other manufacturers, not quite sure. You'd need to uh, you'd need to have a look at the instructions, I guess. So if you like my stuff, please uh, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe if you've not already done so. Until the next time, 73.